next speaker, Joanna Bench, the CEO of Longevity Center in um, Poland and now also in Switzerland, in Germany. Um, long-term entrepreneur and long-term friend. Um, thank you very much. Um, I would like to um, tell you our experience from clinic perspective. Uh, a few years ago, most of my time before longevity, as, uh, as already my uh, colleague just before me uh, said, there was a life before longevity, and it was, um, it was a bit different. I spent most of my time in, in corporate world, uh, where I was very much exposed to stress, and uh, I definitely know what stress is doing to our system and to our health. And I was always interested in health, in wellness, in my personal development, and when I good few years ago, about seven years ago, I met uh, Aubrey, and uh, he was one of the persons actually I met, uh, uh, one of the first persons I met in the, comp uh, in, uh, in the sector. And um, this was still, there were still very few clinics then in Europe uh, that were actually focusing on practical implementations of longevity medicine. And um, I was looking for something like that for myself, and I didn't find it. Uh, so a few years later, we decided to open our first center. Um, the first one we opened in Poland about four years ago, um, just before pandemic. So you can imagine <laughs> that it was a slow start, but it gave us actually an opportunity to verify a lot of our um, tests and, um, and biomarkers and also the type of doctors we would like to, um, we would like to hire, we would like to work with. Um, so today we have quite a number of uh, doctors working for us and working with us. And not only doctors, we work also with nutritionists, uh, with psychologists, and uh, as uh, you have already seen, um, and it was, by the way, a very good presentation. Uh, so I would like to refer to some of the points that were, that were mentioned by Rob. Um, definitely we focus not only on biomarkers of aging, but many different aspects that are very much influencing um, the acceleration of an aging process in, in our system, which are very much we are which are very much connected with stress, with uh, with our mindset. Definitely, it was it is a um, it is a very interesting moment at the, uh, this year because I have never seen so many doctors being interested in longevity, and uh, so many companies uh, that are uh, providing very interesting biomarkers and platforms, like, for example, the one mentioned by uh, Biolitica, that are helping clinics to be effective in, uh, in managing all sorts of and, and huge amounts of data that we are uh, generating as a clinic. I am uh, very much an end user of what we do as well. Um, and this was also one of the very important factors for us to uh, to build up the team and also the doctors that we would like to have uh, as longevity doctors and as um, team members telling others what to do. They really need to be uh, not only believers in the sector, but they need to uh, really live, uh, live the longevity, um, also live to the, to, the, uh, to the type of uh, lifestyle. So as Eva was mentioned, we started with one clinic, but actually what we are building is, is a whole of group of companies. Um, so we, um, by now, we have two clinics, and we are planning now in September to open another, open another one in Switzerland. And uh, Dr. Anna Rad, the head of our clinic in, in Switzerland, is actually with us today. So let's try it again. I will try to uh, keep it short. So what we are focusing on um, is really healthy longevity. So from, for us, it was very important that this clinic is run by, doctor, by doctors, and uh, it's also co-owned by doctors. Um, because we really want everything that we use, any biomarker, any recommendations that we use, they need to be medically validated. Um, to date, um, until today, we have about 1,300 clients that have uh, been tested. And uh, as you can see, and hopefully you can read this uh, smaller print, most of the clients coming to us are actually uh, pretty healthy. They are coming to be uh, for preventive um, measures. Uh, they are focusing on. Uh, they want to better understand their current state of health and uh, and, and invest in their 
uh, personalized and um, uh, preventive health, but also we have uh, athletes and uh, also secondary prevention uh, clients. It's more or less 50-50, and for anybody interested in opening a clinic, I think these are some of the interesting data. We thought there would be more older people at the very beginning that would be interested in this type of services, but uh, for now, we are getting um, our clients are getting younger and younger. So, the average client coming through the center is about 40, and uh, but we also have much younger clients. Uh, our scientific board advisory board, uh, Dr. Eric Verdin, is also um, uh, one of the partners in, in the in the center. And um, it's for me, it's always at the end, every stage of the way that we uh, develop the company, it's very important to be um, using the scientific advisory board for any uh, important decisions, uh, whether this is validating some of the biomarkers that are already there, services that we are providing, but also the technology that we are using. Um, our longevity center method, which we are building since the last, uh, since the last uh, four years, we are focusing not only on biomarkers of aging, but also uh, every biomarker, but also every test and uh, every recommendation. We are trying to connect with the hallmarks of aging. Um, very important is on one side the physical health, but very important and I would say uh, growingly important is the uh, psychological and emotional health. And this is the area that we are developing uh, very strongly as well. Um, hallmarks of aging. Um, over the next few days, I'm uh, sure you're going to hear a lot about that. Uh, we are trying to address uh, most of uh, them in the process of uh, serving our clients. Uh, the typical client journey starts with um, about four hours assessment. Uh, so it's a full assessment of a current state of health, of physical, uh, family history, genetic, epigenetic, uh, a number of different biological markers that we are testing. Um, in some cases, we go much, much deeper. Uh, so, of course, microbiome, mitochondria, um, a, a number of tests that are over, already available, but also validated. What, what is very important for us is that the doctors in the clinic, they have to make their, um, let's say, um, pers um, professional judgment whether and how to connect it with, uh, with, uh, with the test that they know, the, with the typical medical assessment that they are used to, and, uh, and interconnect uh, the, the data. Um, and then based on that, we are generating a longevity plan, and this is uh, quite an extensive document, which includes um, not only the current state of, uh, of your health and recommendations, what next, but also a six or 12 months uh, implementation plan, which includes various types of interventions. Some of them you can do at home, and some of them you can do um, in our clinic. So this would be kind of a typical checkup that, uh, that you can do with us. And this is what the clinic looks like. So we are trying to look a bit more um, friendly than, uh, than a typical doctor's office. Uh, as the clients are spending quite a lot of time, we are trying also to democratize the services that we provide. So we are not only focusing on the ultra, um, let's say expensive services and ultra rich customers, but we are also trying to, uh, to reach um, anybody that is really interested in, in the health. So also our cost, uh, we're trying to drive very much uh, down. Um, a lot of uh, client engagement from self-observation, the client has to um, uh, has to be doing certain tests uh, before they come to the center. They have to uh, fill in what they eat and uh, how much they sleep and lots of other information in terms of uh, observing their lifestyle so that we can... Uh, and also, we have developed a number of tests, some of them with uh, the Association of Lifestyle Medicine, sometimes with other medical associations um, that 
give the clients uh, opportunity to actually engage in the process. These are some of the biomarkers, and I think some of the questions were already also asked. So next to um, very typical assessments like body mass density or cardiovascular health or metabolic health, we also look at microbiome, we look at mitochondria, we look at, uh, of course, USG. Um, in some cases, if the client has more time, we do MRI. Um, and and also uh, go much deeper, for example, into an oncological score. But at the very beginning, we start to do, we have a very uh, standardized baseline, um, which works for us, for most of our clients. And then we go into much more personalized uh, um, assessments. Uh, so we also look at inflammation levels, oxidative stress, and, uh, and many other markers. Um, these are some of the typical programs uh, that we recommend uh, in the six or 12 months uh, following the assessment. And then these are some of the interventions that uh, the clients can use in our center or anywhere else. But what is really important for us is to validate what actually works. And as Rob already mentioned, we also have a lot of clients that are coming to us with um, with ideas of, you know, of self-medicating, for example, and they read a number of books, so they take all supplements at the same time, not knowing whether they need them. Um, so this is the first thing that we do. We, uh, we do an um, assessment of what they are currently taking and why. And uh, our doctors are recommending what, uh, what should be the personalized dose, what should be the personalized uh, set of supplements or biohormones that would actually work for you. But also, you know, there's a lot of, um, there would be a lot of technology that is maybe not seen in the medical centers today, but uh, they're very engaging and motivating for the clients, um, like the different equipments that we have, for example, for adaptive training, but also cryo chamber, hyperbaric chamber. Each of them have certain type of validated, um, um, validated um, uh, assessments um, that are influencing some aspects of biological aging. What we would like, what we are trying to do, is really analyzing the clients uh, based on their specific uh, data to see what really works in what age, um, in what dose, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, yeah, we are also doing a number of home tests that we can send to the clients, whether they are coming to our center or not, so we can monitor them uh, wherever they are. Um, and these are some of the biological ages that we are uh, that we are currently um, assessing in the center. As you can see, a number of them are uh, related to cognitive uh, health or, uh, or psychological uh, and emotional uh, balance. Um, this is some of the some of the examples of, for example, metabolic health that, um, assessments that we are doing in the company. And of course, we use a lot of monitoring devices in this 12 months uh, process from glucose monitoring to HRV, uh, sleep monitoring, a number of um, also new devices coming up for, uh, for stimulation of our, uh, um, of, of our um, focus and concentration. Um, currently, we are finalizing a pilot study on about 170 clients that were tested and retested, and then they were undergoing certain, uh, certain interventions within the center. And as you can see, the average chronological age of our customers is about 42. And we rather call them customers because most of our clients, we don't want them to be patients. Of course, if they need to, we are helping to refer them to the right doctor or help if we can do it within our center. But uh, we are trying to be uh, focusing on, on health rather than disease. Um, women are slightly less, um, let's say, have a much better BMI than men. This is in case of a Polish uh, clinic. And you can see some of the biological ages at the end of the study. So we were able to, um, to bring some of them down, and this is our aim actually in most of, the, uh, most of the interventions. We would like your biological age to improve. Uh, and um, we are also learning more and more um, what is actually influencing uh, each of those um, biological ages to be, to be improved. Um, and what is really important as well uh, 
is to know why do we want to live long and how to best use, uh, use our time. And I really love this sentence and uh, um, yeah, we use it a lot. So what we uh, have within the center, and this is how we are building our competences as well within the company, uh, different doctors are specializing in different areas. We have also external experts that are um, helping us as uh, consultants in different areas. Definitely brain and memory lab, it's a very, very important area for us, both in terms of uh, testing, but uh, what is more important uh, in the context of interventions, how to prevent uh, um, some of the chronic conditions uh, related to uh, to, um, uh, to brain and memory uh, problems, or um, even you know most of the clients after COVID uh, they were coming with brain fog, for example. Uh, metabolic and nutritional lab. Uh, this is one of our biggest um, expertise. Performance lab and uh, mitochondrial lab. Sleep medicine, very important. Most of our clients have some kind of sleep uh, sleep problem. Not everybody has sleep apnea, but uh, we are looking at the medical context of uh, sleep. Uh, as Eve already mentioned, we are opening uh, another center in Switzerland um, already in September. And we are also building, um, at the moment, internal, but we might also be available externally a longevity academy because for training doctors, training, nurse, uh, training nurses, but also training our nutritionists, uh, we are building a lot of internal knowledge. So we are going to start sharing this knowledge as well with the world. Uh, and we are building another um, a separate business line. It's called Regeneration Center. And the first one is going to be open early next year in Warsaw, in one of the football stadiums. Um, skin and body lab, and we are focusing with our partner in Ireland at the moment on preparing a very comprehensive uh, expansion plan as well for uh, licensing uh, of the uh, of the services as uh, to be part of the longevity center family. And with that, thank you very much, and I'm really uh, sorry for the for the for the beginning. All right, so for the sake of the time, maybe we can have one question from the audience, and then Joanna will be here around till the end of the conference, actually. I think we have a droplet. Nothing urgent? No, no. Ah, no, 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 there is one. Call him. Oh. Oh. You mean how much does it cost to be a client, or how much does it cost to invest in? <laughs> well, that's obviously open ended. Okay, so, and, uh, and, and thank you for this question. Uh, this is why I said about democratization, because for us it was really important to start at about 2,000 euro level, so that you can really, uh, and for a full, full assessment, um, where you're really getting a, a very comprehensive um, baseline. And of course, from there, you can, uh, you can do many more um, personalized solutions. So thank you so much. Thank you very much for uh, your attention. Thank you so much, Joanna. Really great presentation.